Hello everyone, this is Sharon from Kentucky's Girls Life. I'm going to be making tuna casserole with fresh tomatoes and spinach tonight. Uh, so, uh, first thing we're going to do is heat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll be right back. I'm going to clean the oven out. Okay, next we're going to spray uh, our baking dish with the cooking spray. Um, it says uh, spray it in 11 by 7 inch glass or ceramic baking dish. Uh, I don't know what size my pans are. I hate when they don't put them on the bottom of them. But this looks like it's deep enough. Let's just hope. No, I'll be just finding another one. Then I'll spray on that one. Get the fat out. I got another bottle, but that's bad. So set that to the side. And uh, we're going to cook um, six ounces of egg noodles as directed to the package. So let me get them cooked and I'll be right back. Hang on. Now we're going to add two tablespoons to a skillet of olive oil. And I use uh, Bartelli uh, extra virgin olive oil, but you can use uh, any brand of olive oil you want. So, I done got the onion chopped. Hang on, guys. I got a. I'll be right back. Got a grandpa, grandbaby. Okay, now our onions are softened. I am going to add two teaspoons of gar minced garlic. We want to cook it for about 30 seconds or until uh, uh, you smell flavor from it. all-purpose flour so let me get that and I'll be right back okay I'm getting it one two three let's get that started cook for one minute stir it occasionally so get that cook that's feeling good okay we are going to be adding uh, Two cups of whole milk. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna get my whole milk ready because it's almost ready to pour. Okay. 
Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, we want to add your pre milk in. We are going to take and uh, simmer for three minutes or until it might be thickened. Let's get frequently. So after it comes to a boil, you turn it down, let it simmer until it thickens. Um, I'm not using a whisk, but it's fast for work. Okay, let's do it. Try to get everything ready here. See if it's the thickness. I think it was thick enough. Now we're going to add in our purchased pesto as a half a cup. Uh, I got Prego basil presto, but you can use any brand that you like. So we need a half a cup. Add um, three tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, we are going to take and uh, add one tablespoon of chopped dill. for a uh, fresh deal so it's what I've got. Uh,
we're going to take and add um, a fourth teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to get that teaspoon and I'll be right back. Anyway, my frog. No, no, baby, going to play. Going to have papa and watch cartoons. And a fourth teaspoon of pepper. If y'all hear my grandbaby, he's three and he has autism. And I kept him for the last two weeks, so he goes home Saturday. So next, we're going to gently stir in our noodles. So let's get our noodles stirred in. I need to drain them, so let me get these drained and I'll be right back. Okay, two, uh, call for two, five, four to five ounce cans. So mine's five ounce cans. Let's get that uh, mixing real good. Okay. Next, we're going to add um, two cups of baby spinach. So now we're going to add canela honey beans. They have to be uh, drained. 
and rinse. So this is what they look like. Uh, let me get a stoner. Let me get. I'll be right back. Let me get these drained and rinsed. Okay, and that was a uh, fifteen to nineteen ounce can. Mine was a fifteen point nine. Uh, so they've been drained and rinsed. Oh, it smells good. I've never had these beans, so. Lucky I was able to find them in the grocery store. Yeah, I did. Okay, so now we're going to add our uh, one cup of grape tomatoes halved. So, let me get them halved and I'll be right back. Okay, we're adding a great tomatoes meal. That's looking good, I'll tell you that. Okay, now we're going to pour to our, pour into our bacon dish. So let me move this stuff out of the way here. And, oh, but we can't pick it up. Okay. Now I got uh, I'm using Lay's kettle cooked uh, sea salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar chips. Uh, you can use any brand. Uh, we need uh, one and a half cups and we want to coarsely crush them. So let me get them crushed and I'll be right back. Okay, now put my sprinkled chips on top. It's on this placement too. There we go. Now we are going to take and uh, bake it for 20-25 minutes or till hot and bubbly on the edges. So I'm going to put this in the oven. And I'm going to set my timer. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's been 25 minutes and here's our finished product. So I'm going to take, and, uh, take a picture of this. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. If y'all make it and like it, please let me know. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and have a good day.